5 Shocking Facts You Never Knew About Mean Girls Mean Girls, our favourite teen film of the 2000s, will never grow old. In fact, we're pretty sure it'll go down in history as one of the most quotable films. And even though you've seen the film numerous times and know all of the characters like they're our best friends, there are a few secrets about the iconic film that might surprise you. Let's list them out. Number 1. Mean Girls was based on a non-fiction book While it's easy to dismiss the film as a standalone product, many people are unaware that it is based on a non-fiction book. Queen Bees and Wannabes, written by Rosalind Wiseman, was published in 2002 and is now in its third edition. It takes an introspective look at young girls' social lives and how cliques, boys, and social media affect their well-being. Cyberbullying is discussed extensively in the book, as is identifying baggage in a girl's background. Tina Fey read the book and based the film on it, as well as her own high school experience. Wiseman wrote a number of self-help books, including this one. Some of her other works include Masterminds and Wingmen, Queen Bee Moms and Kingpin Dads, and Owning Up. Although some of the plastic's behavior was inspired by scenarios from the book, the similarities end there. Number 2. Lindsay Lohan auditioned for the role of Regina George Just this year, Lindsay Lohan revealed in a recent interview with Vogue a casting fact that she says is really unknown by a lot of people. Lindsay came across a photo of herself from Mean Girls as Katie Heron while going through old photos. The dress in question was from her famous house party, where she wore a black and pink strapless gown. She revealed, I wanted to play Regina. She then added, because I'd just come off Freaky Friday and I wanted to play a pretty normal girl now. I wanted to have a different kind of role than just the damaged teenager again. Lindsay played an angsty, irritable teen in Freaky Friday who couldn't be more unlike her mother until one day they swapped lives. In contrast to Mean Girls, where she played a sweet African immigrant adjusting to high school in America, she then shared, Mark Waters, the director, was insistent that I play Katie. She then added, and so was Tina Fey. They were like, no, 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 you're the lovable one. You have to play Katie. She then concluded by saying, I was so eager to get into the transitional part of, okay, let's get to the pretty part of Katie. It's just such a lovable movie. Lindsay also recalled doing Mean Girls fittings and being ecstatic to wear skirts and dress more girly as she transitioned into one of the plastics. Number 3. James Franco was considered for the role of Aaron Samuels Daniel Franzese, who played Katie Heron's friend, Damien Lay, revealed in a 2014 interview with Cosmopolitan that actor James Franco was considered to play Aaron Samuels. According to Franzese, he heard the rumor from Lindsay Lohan. Franzese said, Lindsay Lohan recently told me that James Franco was considered for the role of Aaron Samuels. He commended Jonathan Bennett's performance, but also said he would have enjoyed working with Franco. He said, I thought that was so cool. He then added, Bennett was great, but that would have been cool. On top of that, according to both Francis and Tina Fey, the original actor cast as Aaron Samuels was fired just a few days into production. Bennett revealed during a cast reunion that he wasn't the first choice for the role. Bennett said, I was actually cast last minute. He then added, I was flown up the night before because they did a switch or something. To which Faye responded by saying, yes, someone got fired. When asked who the actor was, Franzi said, I don't want to embarrass him, I'm afraid. He worked consistently. He's a good guy, but yeah, he is somebody who you would have known. Number four, playing Damien helped actor Daniel Franzi embrace his own sexuality. While he played an openly gay man, Franzese did not come out publicly until 10 years after the film's release, and his role in the film contributed to his coming out. Franzese told People, I think part of the reason it took me so long to feel comfortable with who I was, was I didn't have the same referential point. He then added, What Damien did for a lot of queer people, and people of size, which I found out later on, it gave them an identity in pop culture where they weren't made fun of. He's never made fun of for being big or being gay. After coming out, Franzese took on another complex gay role in HBO's Looking, playing a HIV-positive man. And these days, Franzese is doing stand-up comedy. Number 5. Amy Poehler wrote Kevin G's Mean Girls Rap In an interview with Vulture, Mean Girls director Mark Waters revealed the tidbit, stating that the screenplay's actor, aka everyone's other lady hero Tina Fey, handed the reins over to Poehler when it came time for mathlete Kevin Ganapur to spit some rhymes. Waters said, She'll actually give credit to Amy for this. 
because Amy is more of the rap person. He then added, Amy definitely coached him on how to do the rap, and she actually gave him some of the moves and choreography for it. It's especially interesting when you consider that, according to Waters, initially Paramount didn't want any SNL folk in the film. He said, It's weird, but Paramount had a nervousness about Saturday Night Live. They'd been burned on some Saturday Night Live movies that had come from Lorne, so they didn't want that many Saturday Night Live actors in Mean Girls because then it might feel like an SNL movie and people might shy away from it. 